guys, welcome to Angel Whispers. Vanessa here speaking, and today we have another pick a card reading, and this is the weekly What's Going On With Them, commencing November 16 up to November 22, 2020. Each pass was arranged by Saint Gabriel and Saint Michael the Archangel. It's because during this week it's gonna be intense in terms of emotions, and it's also a week of realization for most feminines the angels say and if ever a masculine is connected with their feminine obviously there will be drama involved in the relationship so anyway the masculines might be affected this week if ever they are in a situation ship okay so is there anything else it's supposed to believe what's going on with your feminines, but the angels say they want to include in masculines that are problematic with their relationship. So that's why they included masculine in the picture. Okay, so is there anything else? They say that's it. So anyway, guys, we got four pals here. Number one is Cupid's arrow. Number two, heart with a key. Number three, separation. And number four, not today. Choose wisely. Don't base it on your ego or else it may not resonate. And is there anything else, angels? So that's it, the angels say. So anyway, guys, just post a video if you're not yet ready. And I'll push forward with number one. Hi guys, for those who chose number one, which is the Cupid's arrow, here is your reading. So let's see what's going on with your person number one. And this is the overall theme of this reading. Actually, I'm sensing like my heart is pumping, like I felt nervous and I don't know why. So you have to be fair between rules. They want to turn it in either way serendipity and as well as poised now we're gonna check with the energy of your person number one angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does a person of number one feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together another they say now we'll see I feel like they are in a complicated relationship, okay? I feel like this person don't really like or trust their partner. I feel like they are in a process of heartbreak with regards to their love. I feel like the cards presented here has nothing to do with you. I feel like it's more likely them describing their situation with regards to their person, but it has nothing to do with you. That's what I sense. So basically, it's their energy with the other person that they are currently dealing now. And for some of them, could be ex that's coming back in their life and they don't want to accept their ex. I feel like their ex could be trying to persuade them to choose them. But I really feel like your person don't want or don't trust. I feel like they are more likely healing family issues if this is a marriage thing, okay? Now, one more. Okay, they want... I feel like for some of them, they want to travel towards you, okay? Because they have been through a lot with this person, and I feel like they want someone to cry on to. So if this is your close friend, expect them to um, ask you out so that you guys can talk or chill. Because they really need someone to talk to. Because this is kind of a heavy feeling, number one. So we'll see with your tarot, angels and guides. Please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the person of number one commencing November 16 up to November 22, 2020. Oh, that is... I just place it back. Let's see if it will come back again. Feel like on your persons and they're frustrated. For some of you, you're angry because you're aware about their ex, okay? So this is the overall 
energy so this is reverse Seidel so what is the outcome now I'm gonna clarify the cards presented here angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here this help us clarify so we may be able to understand and the angels say to me that there's a lot of things going on in this person's life and the heaven don't want you to reg um feel like regret on meeting this person because there's a reason why you meet this i don't know why a sense spouse could be the, you have history together with this person i don't know but they're dealing with somebody else okay i can hardly speak sorry uh, if ever this person is not talking to you because there's a lot of things going on right now with your life for some of you i feel like you are aware already and they are in a process of breakup okay anyway so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading and what we got here obviously is that they want to run away and find someone else <laughs> speaking of chariot is here yeah they want to remove themselves from this stress of the relationship that they're currently in okay because the one that they're dealing is stopping them from leaving them behind i feel like this person could have issues with regards to abandoned bet the one that they're dealing with and that's the reason why they are avoiding your person to leave them okay so yeah there's a lot of drama going on there first card is three of wands so i feel like before your person tried to work things out with whomever they're dealing with but now they know the answer they want to take control of their life with the emperor here and they finally decided not to work things out anymore because they already tried before right so they will give up <clears throat> the relationship that they currently have and they are in the process of leaving that's why there's fighting involved here with your overall energy while the person on the other hand don't want to leave see don't want to leave the connection but your person will leave anyway with a full um here like they will take that leap of faith because they're tired of fighting arguing and never ending tower so i believe that they are in a karmic situation wherein there's a lot of fighting involved and they already tried in their end to work things out but it didn't work okay so they just accept that there's no chemistry in the connection so why would they stay with somebody that they don't resonate with right so i feel like they're using their intellect this time and i feel like there's no turning back so with the high priestess in reverse so i believe here that for some of them i feel like the other party will try to make them stay okay i feel like they will create a drama scene here because they are low-key vibe but i feel like what's gonna happen with your person this um individual here that they're dealing with they might be blocked okay by this person because i feel like they are argumentative or they put a facade their drama thing i feel like it's not gonna work I feel crying when I hold this card so on their person's side the person is hurting because you're the one that you're dealing with is you know leaving them so this is the outcome so your person finally gave up on this connection that I currently in well the other person you know cannot control them to leave that's what's going on and the other party obviously is sad broken hearted that your person is leaving them so the next outcome is the five of cups reverse so i feel like for some of them they will be very successful on keeping your person okay making them stuck and they will be reunited again really depends on your person which choice he or she will make okay so anyway let's see with your charms because you, um the one that they're dealing tend to argue a lot like if you will leave um let's say they will say that they will commit suicide and so forth of course your person is so afraid because if something would happen to 
their partner, they will be blamed, right? Um, sometimes it's not really true because I also encounter um, a person that, that's like that, okay? Like, if he didn't get what he wants, he will um, persuade me to stay by saying those things. And it's really nasty. Anyway, I'm glad that, that I'm away now from my ex-husband. So anyway, here is the charm. So what's gonna happen here is that your person is using the intellect now, okay? If I feel like this is kind of like a sexual thing, I've, um, for some of them, their partner will try to seduce them, especially if this is a passionate relationship. Um, I think that your person don't like it, to be honest, because of a toxic behavior of their partner, okay? I feel like they tend to ignore the negative side of things because they try to work things out, but it didn't work out. It continuously be a burden in their life. They could be dealing with somebody that is a player or someone that is a manipulator and a liar. See, this could be um, a beautiful person or handsome, and that's, that's why they are a narcissist. And I feel like their partner has a toxic vibe in them, like they think that they're always right. That's why they argue if they didn't, if they are not hurt or something, they kind of spoiled brat too. So with this world, I believe that your person really wants to put an ending to the cycle um, because this is a toxic relationship and they want to put it to rest. So they will have a downfall with their partnership. And I feel like if it's a sexual connection, the other person will try to seduce your person, okay? But with the star being here, so the angels say what is meant to be is meant to be, okay? So that's what they're gonna say. If you know that you are meant to be with this person, why would you worry? Okay, and the angels say make sure that you're not the reason why they will have a breakup. They say because of course it might create negativity or bad karma. <clears throat> anyway, so these are the cards, heart to heart conversation and I feel like yes, they are dealing with their karmic obviously and they don't want to talk with their karmic, okay? Because their karmic is deceitful, a liar, a cheater for some and they always have to pay attention to the red flags. Very toxic situation here. So I feel like their karmic lacks self-love because I feel as well a demanding nature with a karmic, like they are a me person, okay? They could be somebody who loves to post um, photos or seductive photos can be a um, very narcissist vibe, okay? Love to take selfies. Um, I don't really like their vibe and I feel like a person already made up their mind to walk away from this person. And I feel like they're not telling their friends about their decision because someone might stop them. It's because their karmic is someone that they can't trust at all. Could be this person lied to them or cheat on them. And they didn't make the effort this time with their karmic. And it's safe for them to love. So I feel like they know that this is not a safe person to love due to the fact that this is a me person. And I feel like they don't really look highly on their partner. They look lowly on them like a low-key person and only me person. As you can see here, I'm reading this intuitively. And I feel like on your person's end, they're not really flirting. And for some of them, they're having a hard time to let go could be they're dealing with somebody that's holding them tightly and don't want to leave them but for some they managed to escape their karmic okay they're not gonna be seduced especially if love is not there anymore due to the fact that they can't get along okay so for some it could be a divorce that's gonna happen and they don't really care if they're married or not because um, what is marriage if there's only arguments and not love at all, right? So I feel like their karmic will really try to work things out, but their person see them as not the one. 
Okay, before there is love there, but now nothing really. I feel like your person don't really want to give this person a chance, okay? So seduction might happen. I feel like some of them will try to make a baby, but it will not work. Because I feel like the divine pity these lovers because they can't really get along. No matter what they do, there's always fighting, arguing, and release your ex. So I feel like your ex, whomever that partner is, is having a hard time to release your person. I feel like they are kind of like a crybaby, to be honest. I don't really like it. Kind of a spoiled brat person is whatever they're dealing with, okay? So this is an easier way. So it's really up to your person. What will happen within this week because we have two outcomes remember either um the karmic or will be victorious on you know um getting your person back or could be your person will be victorious on leaving the karmic behind okay so they could be dealing with someone that is really looking highly on themselves okay like they are a boss leader or they could be so pretty or handsome that you should praise them kind of vibe. I don't really like the vibe. And your person really wants to, to be happy. And they really want a connection that is balanced, that is not dramatic, okay? I feel like some... They learned their lesson already, the angels say your person, that they should love someone that has a good personality and not a me person. I feel like they're crying right now because of the heartache, because they learned the lesson the hard way. And I feel like now they're really struggling on releasing this person in their life. So you have Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So I feel like this is more likely um, invitation or meeting about what's gonna happen in the relationship and hesitation. So I feel like they will be seduced and some of them will not want it, okay? Because there's seduction that's gonna happen to make your person stay. But I don't really feel like it's working because we have a lot of reversals with these cards, okay? Now we'll see what are their messages for you. So, should I clarify? They say no needs, so I will just read it for you. It's still a mystery. Probably they're questioning about their life. I'm giving up on you, so this is what they want to tell their current partner. Don't give up your faith, so their partner is telling this to them. And then I can't fight this feeling anymore, so I feel like this is how your person is feeling. Like, enough is enough. Enough of the drama, and I can't handle it anymore, so I feel like that's the reason why they are giving up on this partnership that they're currently in, because there's too much drama involved there. So we got abundance. So the angels say that once that this person let go of this karmic, that is when abundance will fully come in their way. And I really feel like they could have a blockage with regards to money because they're dealing with the karmic, okay? God makes sure that the karmic will not get whatever this person deserves, okay? And yeah, don't give to the greedy, the angels say, and that's the reason why the, there's a blockage in terms of their blessings. Like the divine don't give it a full blown because this person needs to wake up and realize whom they should invest on, okay? So these are the other advice. So we got unbound. So your person is in the process of releasing or cutting the cords, okay, from the wrong person. And it says here, releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. So yeah, they are moving away from the karmic. And the next is, don't deem to fit in. So could be your person is trying to fit in with their partner even though they don't resonate with their partner because as we can see, the chemistry is in reverse, right? Oh dear, where is the card? <laughs> the chemistry is in reverse and the angels say that since they can't get along, um, 
they realize now that they should be dating somebody that really resonates with them, that really vibes like them, okay? And Star said what lights you up, so I feel like, yes, within this week, they could be depressed, okay? Because they wasted um, their time with the wrong partner, and they would want a time alone. So don't DM this person, don't message them, let them be. Give them some time and space to heal, to, what they call this. Just pray for this person, they say. Next, the initiation, rite of passage, crossing the threshold. So they are in a process of going towards the calmer waters. And the, the angels say, hope that this person will be able to get out because some of them will still stay with their karmic if they got seduced, they say. Um, the angels say, but unfortunately, some of them might. Um, they're not saying that could be they are seduced. Could be they are manipulated um, into believing that their karmic will take their life if they will leave because some of these karmic partners, they're gonna do whatever it takes to make your person stay okay which is not really good or healthy i really believe that they could need um help from their friends but i feel like this time around they rather not ask for help because they are afraid that people might stop them from leaving and i feel like it's for the best as well and the angels say just pray for this person okay and let them be don't message them okay and is there anything else they say that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number one and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number two which is the heart with a key here is your reading so let's see what's going on with your person number two so here is the overall theme you got here and now and you also have time to go some can resonate with number one but let's see let's see with your energy angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does a person of number two feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together another they say For some of you, you could be dating this person already, okay, see, they find you as an interesting subject because you're one of a kind person, but they still kind of cautious with you. Um, I feel like currently now, they are not in the mood to find someone new because something is going on. That's why for some of you, could be your person is... In another connection just take what resonates if you feel drawn to number one that's the feels but if you don't feel drawn to number one don't force yourself okay because it may not resonate so we'll see with your tarot angels and guides i feel like they want to say enough is enough with your karmic partner Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with a person of number 2, commencing November 16 up to November 22, 2020. Another data. One more. So, we'll see. I don't know why I also sense their karma for hurting you. I'm not quite sure. Probably for some of you, this could be a person of your past and then they chose the wrong person. Um, but, you know, just take what resonates. So this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. And what is the outcome? One more detail. One more. 
so they gave a lot of outcomes probably they want to explain further all right okay now i'm gonna clarify the cards to gain more information angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here please help us clarify so we may be able to understand thank you for some of you this person wanna do apologize to you if they caused you pain and suffering in the past they suffered in the wrong hands the angels say now they are realizing your worth when you walk away and choose somebody else for some of you that's the case I feel like this person gave up on you because they thought that you're not the one for them. Oops. Oh dear, what's happening to your cards? <laughs> I think that your person don't really want you to know what's happening in their life, to be honest with you. But since this is um, the demand of the angels to do, so it's what the divine wants. So we'll be aware. Since we have a permission from heaven and it's heaven's request. Okay, um, one more. Okay, they ask one more. Anyway, so this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what we got here is the wheel okay and i feel like whomever this person is they want to go back to you this could be your ex guys who done you wrong because things have ended between the both of you and since things didn't work out with them and the other person that they chose against you they are coming back to your life obviously and first card that we got is a ten of cups it's because the angels say they are reminiscing you a lot and it's secret that they're hiding from people that they still like you and they can't move on from you to be honest because i feel like you guys are perfect couple i feel like there's really a tower moment that happened between the both of you um that's why your person is sad that they missed out an opportunity with you because with you you know everything is balanced that you guys have this chemistry together you guys can get along but i feel like they're the one who messed up who broke your heart and now with the death here i feel like things have changed like you already move on or you already find someone new because this person, you know, um, didn't treat you well. And I feel like the tables have turned. That this person is always thinking and thinking about you. I feel this is their karma. Like, they will have a hard time to uh, move on from you. Because I really feel like you really gave this person your love and your time and effort. You're a good partner to marry and with the emperor here so i feel like they see you with someone else already and yeah they're stalking your social media while you are busy focusing could be on your work could be with a new person just take what resonates number two and with the six of pentacles being here so i feel like yes for some of you you're just busy with your work or you're just following the guidance of heaven that's provided for you so you're not really someone that's clinging on to the past you let that go and have faith like you're moving on forward with your life and for some of you you could be busy with a person that you're dating currently right now okay and with the queen of pentacles and magician so i believe that if you're focused on work it will be very abundant within this week the angels say because that is what you're currently manifesting right now is a life for yourself because um i feel like you're 
somebody who's yeah, focusing on work rather than on the regrets of the past. So I feel like with regards to your ex number two, you're not really looking at them, okay? You could have blocked this person already because you don't want drama in your life. I feel like you really put an effort or energy with your partnership with your ex, but then they didn't treat you well. First card for an outcome is the moon in reverse. So what we got here is that your person realized your worth when you fully gone. Because in the beginning, I feel like with the moon in reverse, um, they thought that they can just let you go easy. They play hard to get. They play mind games. They are a player, right? So I feel like yeah, within this week, um, the pain that they have about you will get worse, okay? They will always remember you within this week, okay? Because they are now know what they're wanting. They could be silent within this week, especially if they are aware that you're happy with somebody else and they know that they miss an opportunity. They should have that with you, but sadly, since they left you, I think that they are jealous with the person that you're dealing, okay? And they can't stop you. I feel like for some of you with this page of swords in reverse here, I think that what they're gonna do is they try to persuade you to come back to them so that your connection with your new person will be over. They could um, try to go between you and your lover if that's the key situation. Next outcome is a page of cups in reverse. So they are very heartbroken with regards to you because I feel like they really want to go back to your life but you already let them go obviously since you don't have feelings for them. Next outcome is the judgment in reverse. So I really feel here that you could be somebody that's not really passionate with your ex, okay? Like, um, it could be a divorce thing also, or if ever your ex chose someone else over you, I feel like what's gonna happen to them is that they will have a terrible breakup. It didn't work out and your person ran away from this person that they cheated on from you. And I feel like in the past, they could be players, okay? I feel like why we encounter these certain cards as one of your outcome because they will remember how foolish they have been of choosing the wrong person. And within this week, what's gonna happen to your person is that they will leave this person. So, could be you will resonate with number one if this one resonates with you, this set of cards, alright? So the next is the King of Wands in reverse. So obviously speaking, within this week, this person will realize um, well, how to be practical because could be they chose the other person because of their sexual desires. And they realize that that, that is not something for a long run. And now they want somebody that they can marry from or they can have a stable foundation with. So this time, I feel like they are becoming to a mature person. So for the last outcome, we got the Queen of Swords. So I feel like you, on the other hand, if this person will come back to you, you will not accept this person even though you don't have somebody else, okay? You could be just busy with your work and you're continuously doing your job and healing from this person and you're not seeing your person as your lover. So you will just block this person and move on with your life. Anyway, let's see with your charms what it has to say. So, one more detail. So these are your charms. 
So anyway, um, this person could have ghosted you for somebody else, okay? Feel like the toxic behavior that they have here could be their immaturity of playing hard to get or making you involved in a third party. And I feel like now they are becoming wiser. They will realize how a burden they are in your connection. And they didn't see your words when you guys are still dating. And they will be very emotional this week, okay? Because they see you as someone that's accelerating with regards to your career. And I feel like you really walk away from this person because you put an ending to the cycle and you're just focused on you and your future plans. So for some of you, you're going to be very busy with your work or with someone new. So let's see what else we got. So anyway, your, your person see you as someone who's dating somebody else that is for some of you. And I feel like um, this person will be observing you from afar. And of course, this person is seeing you with somebody else. And I feel like he or she will be very jealous because they see you as someone that resonates with the person that you're in. Okay, just take this if you have a relationship already with someone else. So deception and new love. So I feel like your person is aware that you're really dating. Could be for some of you that is your focus. And for the deception, I believe that you're not looking back at your ex because of what they've done to you. I feel like they are aware that they did you wrong. That's the reason why you don't really see your person as the one or somebody that's really safe to love since they did you wrong. So with free yourself, I feel like you already free yourself from this person, but your person on the other hand can't let you go in their mind. Like, if they have a hard time to move on, I feel like that is one of their karma because they really need to learn the lessons, okay? The hard way. And I feel like during this time, they're becoming mature, okay? Like, they should be choosing someone whom they can form um, a committed connection with, okay? So, not just a sexual partner, the angels say. So, anyway, these are your cards. So, it is time to go. This is more likely your energy. Like, you are on the present moment and you already move on from this person. So, I think that in your person's end, they're moving away from the one that they chose against you. That's what's going on here. And I feel like if you're living in a present moment, your person is living in a past moment, reminiscing about your connection together. Now, the next is the heart with the key. Welcoming love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together, and perfect. So... Within this week, I believe that you guys are into a relationship or some of you. Okay, this is how your person see you, yeah, like you're dating. Okay, but just take what resonates. But for some of you, you're just going to be busy with work. So, anyway, let's see with the messages of your person number two. Should I clarify? They say no need, just explain. So you have, you hold me up so high. So they really reminisce the past with you. Hear my emptiness and they're lonely because you're not interested with them anymore. I am weak. So yeah, obviously within this week, okay, they will realize their mistakes that they did towards you. My love is real. So this could be... What they realize about you, that your love is real. And then you are my shelter from the storm. Could be when you guys are still dating, you could be a person that's always there for them whenever they need help. And that's a reason why they miss your love and support. Because could be the one that they chose is somebody who's not really supportive. Could be an arrogant or a narcissist, okay, that they dealt with. Um, whom they chose against you. They chose a wrong partner according to the angels. 
So let's see what else we got. So you got a success. So if ever you're busy with your work, the angels say it will be a success like you will reap the rewards of your hard work, the angels say. And the next thing that we got is a year from now. If ever, guys, that you're not yet in a relationship, the angels say don't worry because 2020 is not really a perfect time for love. Just take some time, okay? Could be the reason why you're busy with your work rather than finding a lover. So if you want someone to be with you again, yes, you will have a year from now. Could be next year. Okay, not this year because I feel like you are more focused on work. And helpful people, so if ever you're still healing from this person, they say that your your friends helps you. I feel like they are all um, supportive of you. Um, I can hardly express myself. Probably you're a type of person wherein you really hide um, whatever you feel. Okay, you're not really comfortable on asking help. And that's another reason why your person really likes you because you're someone that's secretive. Like you're not a dramatic person. You're not even demanding, okay, for attention. And that is what your person misses with you. Probably they are dealing with someone who is kind of like a spoiled brat that always wants attention. So I believe that you are a good person or an ideal partner that they see. So let's see about the advice. So we got the keepers of the earth. And I believe here that they are asking you to ground yourself, especially if you're still healing from this person. And let your friends help you sometimes, the angels say. And believe that your ancestors are also by your side and the angels, because I'm seeing angels here. Okay, like they are waiting for the perfect time. Okay, they make sure that you're okay, you already move on before they gave you the right person. So that you will not um, cut this person off because if you're hurting and you put your walls up, how can a new person will enter your life, right? So I feel like they're waiting for you to release the pain of the past, let go and have faith that they will send you the right partner and they are sending you signs that not all people are bad, not all people will hurt you because there will be a person that's really made for you. Priestess, how are you being called to step up and lead? So for some of you, yes, you're just going to be busy with your work. So I feel like if you're really a hard worker, guys, you may get a promotion, okay? But if that's not the case situation, if you're someone that is self-employed, like you're always in YouTube, so I feel like continuously do your life purpose job, okay and you will reap the rewards you will have abundance because that is what you saw and that's what you shall reap okay so is there anything else they say um if ever you have a lover the angels say um your lover will help you ground yourself and will help you heal from your past person and i feel like continuously try to work on with your healing the angels say and don't um, drain your person's energy if you're already involved with your person with someone new and yes don't just use this person as a rebound try to heal um try to heal without using this person the angels say so you may not drain the energy of the one that you're dealing with currently so is there anything else for some focus on your work that can help and is there anything else they say that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number two and sending you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number three which is a separation here is your reading so we'll see What's going on with your person number three? And now this is the overall theme of this reading. You got the orphan. This is an easier way they tell. And you got a new life. One more four. Okay. 
They asked me to pull more overall theme. Probably the one that they're asking of already was used from the other piles. So we'll just um, follow what the divine wants. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what is the overall theme for this reading. Thank you. Another detail. So, we'll see. So, you have a loyal heart with the other half they say probably you really have a strong soul attachment or could be you have a long history together with your past person now we'll check with your energy so i feel like for some of you, you could be saying enough of the drama but we will see with your cards what it has to say to us angels and guides Please provide guidance for the cards so we may know. How does a person of number 3 feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together? I feel like for some of you, you, you could be dealing with a karmic i feel like you didn't realize that this is a karmic unless this person broke your heart could be they put you in a in hold or in binding spell can be or love spell and that's why you thought that this could be the one i feel like you say you broke your heart your feelings was erased like the spell has been broken and now you walk up, you come to your senses that, hey, this is not really the partner that I wanted. And could be they took advantage of you. They, they could have used you for money or for other desires that they want from you. And that's the reason why they cast a nasty spell on you. And I feel like you're moving forward with your life. And I feel like for some of you, your mutual friends might be aware about what this person is up to, but sadly, you know, they didn't tell that to you in the first place because your friends, mutual friends, are not really aware that this person is evil. Could be, you know, your own, you could be, let's say, in a home setting wherein this person has a high position like could be a teacher etc and you couldn't believe that this person is a bad person right because everyone look highly but since something happened here i feel like your mutual friends are somebody who dislike what really happened between the both of you change of perspective the angels say so let's see about the tarot it's because the other party is very arrogant um they say and they don't really admit their mistakes okay angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's going on with the person of number three commencing november 16 up to november 22 2020 you really are heartbroken and I feel like you are really regretful of spending your time with the wrong person here. Could be you also wasted the money from this person. Probably you watched the karma reading because you're so angry. Now, anyway, guys, this is the overall energy that's affecting the reading. So what is the outcome? I'm gonna clarify the cards. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here. Please help us clarify so we may be able to understand. So I really feel, guys, number three, that you're still sad and lonely about what happened. Could be your chest here. You just want to know what's really going on. Is it really true that this nasty individual here cast a spell? Is it not really true love? Because the connection is really intense at first. So let's just hope and pray that the divine will give you some answers. Okay, will give you some signs so you'll be aware. Okay, so 
I feel like for some of you, you could be saying that this person mistreated you, lied to you, cheated on you. Because, yeah, this could be a happy relationship. This is an overall energy. Okay, you're really happy. And I feel like this reminds me of the Piper story, right? That lures a lot of children, which is really sad. This person really could have cast a nasty spell on you so that you'll fall into the trap so that you will not see other choices with regards to love. And then when you are in a relationship, I feel like they really took something from you. Could be money, okay? And I'm sensing like you you are full of hatred because of whatever they've done to you. And yeah, they took advantage. So... First card that we got is a Six of Cups. So, I really feel like after what, um, after taking whatever they took from you, I feel like there's some moment wherein they left. So, what happened to you is that you're left wounded, obviously. You're not passionate. You could be taking some time to heal your heart. And I feel like if you're still working, I feel like you're not really working um full heartedly because you lose your focus and you're feeling grounded and be it's because of your sadness okay with regards to your person that your dream with this person um didn't push forward with the eight of wands in reverse and yes you're overwhelmed with depression and heartbreak and yeah because of what happened no wonder why you're lonely and you can't even start your business or anything. Like, you could be just lying in bed the whole week and be thinking of what was destroyed because you thought it would be the Ten of Pentacles, which is a stable relationship, but no, it's a failure. Could be for some of you, this person could have used you for money, for some passionate desires. That can be, and... Yeah, the tower moment happened, and I really feel that um, you are not um, grounded. I don't know why they don't really show what happened with your person. Like, in all these shows about what's going on with you, but let's see about the outcome. So, for an outcome, this is nice. This is positive. Why? Because after this thing that happened to you, the angels say, Karma will come towards you meaning good karma because you're not the one who left the situation you're someone whom love your person wholeheartedly and so the reward that you're gonna reap one day is that you will have finally a stable relationship you will have a family with someone new but not the person who broke your heart because the divine have seen you suffer and I really feel here that people will be happy with you in the for you in the end because they will see you with somebody new. And I really feel like the universe really wants you to um not really remember your ex because obviously here with this reading number three you're not um, being shown really what's happening to your person. You're being shown about the reward that you will give once that you recover from this situation, okay? Now, we'll see with your charm what it has to say. I feel like for some of you, you deserve an apology from the person who broke your heart. Another. And more. So, anyway, here is the charm. So, for the charms, what we have here is that you could be someone if you love, you really love. And sadly, for some of you, this person could have um, took advantage of you or have sexual passion. That's why... I feel like it could be for some of you, you could be um, into alcohol and this person may you drink a lot so that they may experience this with you. If not, um, 
if not potion or if not a love spell or binding spell so i feel like they really made fun of you they could have lied to you they could have said to you that you know um they love you or they will be loyal to you but they didn't okay i feel like you are burdened with emotions within this week because you always remember how foolish you have been that you love this person but yet they left you as you can see and i feel like you're so angry with your person um as a result so i really feel like number three it's also gonna teach you how to be more wiser and more practical with regards to love so take some time to heal and when you heal remember to you know hold on to the lesson that you learn from the experience they say and they are saying to you heads up because in the future you will have a new lover and that person will be your wish fulfillment and it's gonna be a stable one i feel like most of you are in fear of the ghosting thing okay but don't worry because the next relationship that you will have for sure it will be a strong connection it will lead on to marriage they say and it is destined for you it's a gift from the universe okay so let's see what else we got here love yourself first so during this time you are healing from your past person okay whomever broke your heart because right now could be the wound is still there that you haven't forgiven this person and you have this trust issue you put your walls up because you keep on thinking and thinking about this person for some of you why me etc and i feel like for some of you you close your heart to love you don't want to get involved again with somebody else okay so i feel like the divine is waiting for you to actually release your ex or release the energy of your partner if ever you did something with this person sexually make sure to cleanse your sacral chakra because the energy of your person maintains in you in order for you to do that have salt bath and also listen to healing music for the chakras so that your chakra will be on alignment and you'll be able to heal your sacral chakra and yes take some time to heal to cry out the pain of whatever you feel because if you put your guard up or your walls up you might avoid this kind of opportunity in the future they say okay and i feel like you're realizing that you're not really attracted to your past person that's the reason why you're not gonna want them back okay i feel like for some of you it's very hard to move on especially if they really did put a love spell on you it's very hard to remove that to be honest but always pray to the divine to help you remove the emotions okay talk to god that this is not a person that you want to marry because there is trust issue and it's not safe for you to love them okay because look at you're having a hard time to move on and don't be harsh to yourself guys because it takes some time really to move on for me you know it took let's say months before i finally removed the emotions because mine put a nasty spell on me to be honest with you and they say that in order for you to remove yourself always bath with salt and water always pray to god to remove any negativity any harmful spells that people cast on to you even evil eye okay that's what you need to do number three so work on to it and let's see with your overall theme what it has to say so for this one i feel like you will be drawn to creative and divorce or into something that really makes you happy so that you won't be focused too much on the person that broke your heart here so that you will be able to have a new fresh start again the angels say so i feel like with this lesson you're being awakened to be aware to fall in love with the right person somebody 
whom you have chemistry with, someone who resonates with you. Because I really feel like what happened in your connection, guys, could be you're the only one who put an effort and this person doesn't, okay? You start to be aware about your worth, which is really nice. And you're working on healing obviously and i feel like you have to declutter everything that this person have given to you or everything that will remind you of this person so that you'll be able to move on and recover so with this orphan i feel like this is an easier way because you are in the process of healing but then don't give up hope because you'll be able to do that you'll be able to move on the angels say and the divine will help you with it so we got separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of future. So I think that this separation really hurt you. I felt thrown to the thorns of the rose here. So I feel like the wounding is still there. And I feel like you're not yearning for your past person. You really think about what happened. It's a really deep contemplation for you, number three. But... It's really worth it if you purge the pain rather than keep it, okay? And avoid... Some people avoid to cry and spend a lot of money on shopping. Don't do that, number three. You better release the pain by crying it all out. If you are with people or you're surrounded by people, what you can do is cry every night before you go to sleep. Okay, no one will see that, especially if the lights is off okay so let's see what are the messages of your person number three um should we clarify okay they say no need so take them to realize so what else we got tell me you'll wait so I think that your person still wants you to wait for them to be honest with you and I can't take it, I don't understand, so I feel like you want to tell this person how much you cried about the connection. We will make it through and don't surrender because you can win. So I believe that this nasty individual, he really casts nasty spell on you. Um, binding spell can be and urging you to wait and promise you certain things so what the angels wants you to do is you have to take some time to realize that this is not your worth okay you're worthy of somebody who will not cheat on you who will make you as some priority and treat you um treat you fairly because this person is unfair okay so you have to leave this person you have to realize your verse number three so you'll be able to wake up and see the reason why you really love this person because you'll have to ask that question yourself why do you want this person why do you feel drawn to them etc because if they're so really reasoning behind it so why are you holding on <laughs> right know your verse number three so these are your advice so you got unlikely so for some of you, you could be thinking like this is the one etc this is not the one for you especially that the overall outcome is the judgment which says that the person that you should be with is after this thermal water okay once that you learn the lessons you will meet the one you're much okay that will bring you the ten of pentacles whom you will marry okay next is don't stop so what they want you to do is focus on you i feel like during this moment you will be um observing yourself more with regards to creative and divorce like you will discover more things to do hobbies to shift your focus and it will bring joy and happiness to you while you are recovering from the heartache okay so pay attention to the signs pay attention to what makes you happy because it could unlock the doors towards an opportunity in your life warrior woman 
Have you answered the deepest calling? So, I believe that the calling that you have, number three, is to cut the cords already. Don't go back to this person who really broke your heart, they say. And they say it's gonna teach you on how to be stronger. It's gonna teach you on how to cut the cords towards people that don't see your worth, they say. Next time around, you will be more practical. You will be more wiser. And for some of you, you will teach people um, with regards to what happened to you, okay? And remember the angels say that the one that you're destined with is somebody whom also treats you well like if you're aware that you're a good person in terms of connection then you will attract the one that is also the same okay you deserve to be happy they say you deserve to be treated well you deserve to be pampered etc of what you really treat your nasty ex they say so is there anything else they say that's it so i feel like your person in the future they do want to apologize to you but that will be too late because on that moment you already dealt with somebody new okay you're already happy and justice have been served and when they see you with someone else that is when they will see you um happy and they will try to come back and reach out but you know you will never be persuaded no matter how many times they cast us these spells on you so make sure to block this person okay and don't post a lot about your new person number three especially if you're aware that your past person is casting nasty magic okay to avoid negativity to avoid any evil eye and suffers try to be more private number three so that your past person may not cast nasty things on your partnership okay so is there anything else they say that's it so anyway thank you for watching those who chose number three and sunday you all peace love and light bye hi guys for those who chose number four which is not today card here is your reading. So let's see what's going on with your person number four. So here is the overall theme of this reading. You got thinker. I don't know why I sense um to be fair card. Happy happy. And you also got by the book to the sea. And also peace. one more okay they say no need so we'll check with the uh, energy of your person angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know how does a person of number four feel about them and how do they see about their situation and connection together I feel like this person is more likely career oriented or they could have a business okay that they are really um focused on i feel like you could be jealous with this person with regards to their abundance to their wealth they could be a wealthy businessman or businesswoman um or they could be let's say earning more than you are that can be that you think highly of this person but then in reality the angels say they don't have really much to offer that's what they want to say they just balance their in their money okay um in their career but it doesn't mean that they have more i wonder why is it i feel that way but we'll see with your tarot angels and guides Please provide guidance for the cards because of a lot of responsibility. Probably they are helping at home, okay? Um, but then even though they're helping at home or contributing to certain um, or donating a lot of things, they're still balanced in terms of their money, okay? So I could could be the reason why they are humble because they are giving and giving to the point that they don't have really much okay another so they could have gone through a terrible breakup that's also what i sense with them 
and I feel like a lot of unfortunate events happened in their life and now currently there's a lot of bugs bugging me there could be a lot of people that wants their attention that's also what I get here or bug their life in general and I feel like they are drained by these people could be due to the fact that they are helping a lot of people okay and so this is the overall energy and this is upright they say what is the outcome no wonder why they really have a good heart that's why they have a giving heart i'm gonna clarify the cards this is a busy person angels and guides please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the cards presented here to help us clarify so we may be able to understand another they tell me one more they say so let's see Your person could have negative feelings with regards to you because as I shuffle the cards, my left hand hurts, okay? Could be you have a fallout, okay? That's why your person is angry, obviously, the face, okay? So I really feel like they're just busy with their work, with their career, on whatever they're doing okay but with regards to love connection i feel like they're not really passionate about it they're not thinking about you know um passionate desires or even relationship they're just focused on work and that's it okay so first card that we got is the sign of pentacles in both ways so as i told you you could be looking highly that this person has a lot of money but to be honest you know this person has just the right amount of money because they have been giving towards a responsibility especially if they have a family or they could be um giving it for a cause okay that's what's going on so it's not what you think that they are so rich and so forth they are giving over givers sometimes so i feel like they really detach themselves from material things that's what they are and i feel like they are working with a cause i feel or they're really coordinating with their family with regards to finances and i feel like um you could not be seeing this okay you thought that this person can solo all the income to his um or herself but i feel like they have responsibility if not responsibility they could be contributing for a cause okay donating they love to donate and that's the reason why um they are not having much it's just enough to sustain themselves okay that's what they have so yeah obviously i feel like you could be teaching this person not to give and give and give okay that could be your contribution to them to to plan for your future and to be an higher fund in i feel like you're teaching this person to be greedy or to keep the money okay done to provide for others because i really feel like this person this is what you see in them like they're just um working hard and then they put their money towards for other people okay so i feel like in the seven of wands i'm sensing like they're not really attached to anyone they want to be alone as you can see here they're not really in love with someone new right now or they could not be focusing on love itself okay just focusing on building their money and giving for the poor can be so for for once in reverse so yeah as i told you they could just end a relationship okay and go somewhere 
or trying to move on from it and that's the reason why they're not really focused on finding a lover because some of them are still healing and some of them are still angry with their past lover and with the two of pentacles in reverse so i believe that they could be depressed sometimes the angels say if they are depressed they take some time to heal or they could be traveling i feel like they're not gonna post much during this week because they are healing and they are traveling for some of them they're going places but they're not telling everyone where they are going okay or what they're up to so the next thing that we got is the strength in reverse here so i really feel yes they're really building up themselves especially if they have been through a lot with regards to love connections so yes we are in a recovery period removing the past behind so with the two of ones being here so i believe that there could be somebody that's really donates okay they donate their money they look out for others. Really a light worker person here, okay? I really feel like they rather, um, I feel like they earn a lot of trust, a lot of love from people because they have a giving heart. And I feel like this person realized now that they should be helping the poor rather than helping the greedy. I feel like they are into love, okay? In terms of the people that's really poor okay they have a good heart they're not attached to material things and this is the outcome so nine of pentacles so the angels say even though this person has a lot of money look at that okay this person really has a giving heart i feel like they realize now that the most important thing in life is to give is to love people and i really feel like during this week they will do humanitarian work they will provide for the poor okay and i feel here that they will not really look at your social media still single and yet happy on helping others and they're still working on healing their heart and let's see about the charm what we have here I feel like a lot of people like this person especially if they are overgivers because they can take advantage of this person but then I feel like this person more likely help the poor than the greedy okay because this person really has a loving heart look at that and I feel like this person could be a popular could be a star okay could be a boss as I feel a very authentic person, kind of dreamy, like everyone really dreams to have a person like them. And yeah, I told you, they have secret admirers that really admire them, really look up highly on them. And I feel like, yes, they are aware, but then they need to heal their heart. I okay? guess so you can see they're working on to it so that they can open their heart once again with regards to love. So what we got here, calling in your soulmate. So I believe that they're not really aware that they are summoning the person that's really supposed to be with them. Because I believe that um, this is their energy even though they're not looking for someone. Because they are working very hard to heal themselves and they are still a good person despite of the terrible heartache that they have been through so as i told you a lot of people are looking at them as their type okay not because of let's say beauty or handsome face but because they really have a giving heart a loving heart okay this could be the one healing family issues so with regards to their ex they're still trying to move on from their ex but they are aware that this person is not the one for them and i feel like they're they're trying to forgive their past person they're trying to understand what really happened and could be they also have responsibility with their kids that's the reason why they don't really keep a lot for themselves they give and give and give that's what they are okay 
and we just rest waiting for and free yourself so as i told you they're still working on healing and i feel like the divine is really waiting for this person to heal before they can give this person the one for them okay and i feel like the divine is protecting this person from heartache betrayal okay and the divine is teaching this person to only give towards the poor rather than the greedy because he or she is really having a loving heart and they are preventing others from taking advantage of them okay and that's the reason why the walls are up i feel like angels are with this person really because he or she has a good heart okay so this person is working on with their peace of mind and healing their heart that's what's going on with them or learning how to forgive their past person so they could be somebody who's submissive to others and they could have a tendency to give to the wrong person but i feel like they're learning from it they're learning to detach from people that are greedy and that's the reason why they kind of like a light-hearted person now and they are realizing now their fault that they did in the past okay to have this happy lifestyle and i feel like the joy that they have is if they give okay if they give they feel joy okay really a light-hearted energy here so what we got here is not today not dealing hurt avoiding a conversation called person boundary still angry I feel like your person is dealing with building up healthy boundaries because they could be a loving person. They give and give and the divine is guiding them. All right, to avoid greedy people. So here are the messages for you. So should we clarify? They say, um, if ever you're the person that wronged this person number four, they say they don't really want to talk to you and that's the reason why you have this not today. They are ignoring you. If you're messaging them, they are not really viewing it, okay? If they view, they didn't reply or they block you already. So, these are their messages for you. Should they clarify? They say, okay, clarify. Don't worry, I will read, guys. When said, I have the clarifiers. Angels and guides, please provide guidance for the cards so we may know what's behind the messages of the person of number four for them. World card. <coughs> Suddenly, I feel like my throat is dry. Could be the divine is preventing them to speak in social media of what they're really up to. Could be because their ex still spies on them. And I feel like the divine is protecting them from their ex or somebody who's greedy. About that, I cough and I need to drink really water because I feel like my throat is dry with your reading. Anyway, the divine really prevents you from speaking on what you're gonna be up to within this week, okay? I want to make you see what I was. So it's, I feel like it's up to you, your person, I mean. So I think that this person is authentic, okay? I think that, yeah, they really have a good heart. As you can see here, a loving energy. And they really are detached from material things, okay? I feel like that is really their attitude. And our love will lead me to your arms. So I believe that their ex want to come back. But I really feel like, hmm, I feel like not only their ex, but actually people that took advantage of them want to come back to them. And I think that these people that are greedy, um, the divine is releasing these nasty people from this person because look how demanding they look. 
I feel like their ancestors really protecting your person from greedy people. Okay, and they're not going to be manipulated by this greedy, nasty individuals here. Next is you open my eyes. And I think that this is with regards to the divine. I feel like the divine is really teaching them to be authentic and to work on with their money or whatever their creative endeavor is, okay? And I feel like after the breakup, I think they also trying to see why this connection didn't work so that they can work on themselves and they could reflect on what's ever wrong that they've done so that they will be an effective lover in the end. Is there in your eyes I saw something true? So I believe that this is whatever the people are telling to this individual. Because they are so authentic, okay? They are kind of boss-like or very mature person. Whatever they manifest grows, okay? They are giver, obviously. It's because they have been through a lot in this life. That's why they have a giving heart, okay? They understand how it feels like to have none. And that's the reason why they give and give and give. So these are the other cards that we got. So we got there's something better. So if ever this person, yeah, they are heartbroken from their ex. And I feel like the divine is telling them that there's something better for them. Okay, and I feel like they are gonna be more rich and abundant because they have a giving heart and the divine wants them to continuously do that. And that's the reason why they have a lot of money because the divine knows that it's gonna be contributed for everyone who really needs help. Next is choose a new direction. So with regards to love connection, um, this person is not going back to the past person. Improving health. So within this week, they're going to heal themselves. And then, yes, and awakening. So, I feel like the divine is um, trying to make them into a better person. It's a reflection week for them. Okay? And yes, they are in awakening process. That's why the divine is protecting them from harm from greedy people okay and also they are aligning this person towards a new partner that they will have because i believe that they will be in a relationship in the future with somebody that really resonates with them okay and with that they really need to learn the lessons they need to give only towards the poor and don't feed in towards the greedy and also they are being released from karmic, okay, from toxic people that is holding them back, okay, towards their success. Because I believe that the divine is also guiding them to live wherever they are. So I feel like for some of them, they're going to move out of a house. They're going to um, acquire a new location that can be. And I feel like that's the reason why the divine is not wanting them to post something about their plans for the future. Because people may have an idea of their plans, okay? Since they are being removed from karmics, from toxic connections. <clears throat> is there anything else? They say that's it. So anyway, thank you for watching those who chose number four. And sending you all peace, love, and light. Bye.